420 somewhere. How to build a bathroom in a van the easy way and the cleanest with zero smell. The last thing I want to do is go use a public toilet and catch the Rona. To do or not to do, what should I do do? What I've found to be the cleanest, the only zero smell way to have a toilet in the van. I'm gonna show you and as I get it out, I'll explain. Here's the seat. This is a $20 fold up seat that you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Boom, there you go. It's the easiest build for a toilet. This is the only zero smell way that I could come up with to go in a van. I wanna give credit to longtime friend of mine, the legend, Worm. He's been living in a motorhome for a while. What he does is he goes in a bag, he puts a little kitty litter, and he throws it away. I never thought about that before. I watch all these van videos, and it seems like the composting toilet's the way to go. But then if you prefer the cassette toilet, then that's the way to go. The options are somewhat limited. If you get creative, there's a lot of things you can do. Like some people, they just use a shovel. Find a place, dig a hole, and I believe the law is as long as you dig it six inches down and cover it up, you're good to go. This is gonna be a city van, so I had to come up with something different. The last thing I wanted was a black water tank. I have a friend, he's got a motor home. Every time he hits the brakes, if there's anything in the black water tank, he can get a whiff of it. And that doesn't seem like any fun at all. This seat has a ring in it. You go get your compostable bag. There we go. Now you take your, your ring and you feed the bag over the ring like that. You can place it back into the seat and you have a clean toilet seat here that you can sit on. I actually tried this in Mammoth. It might be a little weird not having water under there. I went, it hit the bag. Uh, it wasn't weird at all. I thought it was gonna be weird. It wasn't that bad. Uh, one of the benefits of doing the, so many benefits of doing this this way. I'm gonna have a trash can on this door probably because I'm gonna build like a toolbox type of thing for the back of the van and it's gonna cover the air conditioner. I'm gonna have trash. So when I have smelly things from cooking or the bags from my toilet, I have a place to throw them. Another option that's similar to this is the toilet that has that silver bag in it. And every time you hit the button, it twists the bag and you can get like 13 uses out of it. Then you still have a toilet that takes up space in your van. With this, when I fold it up, I slip it up there. Nobody even knows I have a toilet. Some toilets, you can only use certain kinds of toilet paper. Here we go, Charmin from Costco. I don't use anything else and I don't plan on changing. I kind of like to take a shower after I squeeze one out. But wipies are a must in this situation because you want to be clean, guys. You don't need to be all itchy and gross just because we're living in a van. All right, so let's test it out. No. You think all right? Yeah. Always right in the middle of my monologue. <clears throat> Once you got it out, all you got to do is take this bag like this. Boom. Ring comes out. Take your stuff. Go like that. Get the air out. And then of course I'll have my trash can right here. So I'll just have to open this door, drop it into the trash can right here. Hopefully there'll just be a trash can right nearby. With this whole system, oh shoot, I forgot to wipe. The whole goal with this system is I don't want to drive my shit around. It's gross. This is why I think you should never consider a composting toilet. I feel like sometimes uh, some of the things I say are, are a bit insensitive. Like, there's nothing wrong. Composting is really good for the planet. Awesome, guys. You make compost, grow plants from it. It's just a personal preference of mine. People have pets. They, they drop their pets' stuff in a bag, throw it in the trash, no problem. Why can't I do it? 
some RV toilet talk. This is, in my opinion, the best toilet for a van. If you're gonna go in a van, I'll have to do this for a while to decide if I could think of a better way. That's my version of a comfy dump in a van and the best toilet for camping. And it takes up the least amount of space. I forgot to mention, there's this stuff called poo powder and that stuff is really great because you could put some in the bag and you could even go number one in the bag and it'll solidify all the liquids. You gotta do something like that. Kitty litter, whatever it is, something to keep the liquids from leaking out of the bag just in case the bag gets a hole in it. You wanna be responsible. You don't wanna just be dumping. It's gonna like seep out into people's trash cans. That's just, that's the one part of doing things like this that could end up being really gross. Do your part, keep society clean. You might be thinking, Dave, what are you gonna do if you get a girlfriend or a girl wants to stay in your van? Like, do you expect her to just go in a bag? This is how I'm gonna know if I'm with the right girl. Let's put it this way. I know this might not be for anybody or everybody. There's these funnels that you can get. You can use that to go outside. Girls can like squat and pee out in wilderness. That's typically what they end up having to do they can get a little splatter if they can't find a good bush or something to have a cleaner experience. Oh my gosh, it's David Dobrik. JK. With these funnels, a girl can go standing up into a bottle, whatever it is, and they're not gonna get splatter on them. I'm planning on going number one in a bottle and I do have this idea that I came up with of having like making a urinal from like a, a funnel and then having the tube from the funnel go to like an outside tank like maybe a gallon maybe a little bit bigger I can access the my pee <laughs> from the outside and then go dump it into a toilet every time I pee I don't have to go get a bottle full of pee open it pee in it it's I'm trying to make this as clean as I can. And I think that these options that I've come up with are cleaner than anything that exists right now. You saw, even when I pulled the bag out, like it was so simple and clean. When I did it up in Mammoth, I didn't even smell anything. I, th I thought when I like pulled the air out the best I could that there was gonna be a, a whiff of something. No, nah, it was good. Hopefully I've inspired some people to do things a little bit differently or to even think, take this a step further. What are your ideas? Thanks guys for watching my videos. Peace, love, and van life. You can buy compostable bags. I think it's actually better for the environment that I put it in a compostable bag and it ends up at the landfill. When you flush the toilet in Los Angeles, it goes to Hyperion Treatment Plant right by LAX. They separate the solids from the liquids. They treat the liquid and they shoot it five miles out to sea in the ocean where I surf. That's disgusting. They take the solids that they've separated, they turn it into compost, and then they put it in the fields in the South San Joaquin Valley right after Tejon Ranch. It seems to me like what normal people are doing is what's gross. Even with urine, let's say everybody were to just pee in their backyards. At least the urine, before the rain washed it out to sea, would get filtered through the earth and it would do less damage to the ocean because people always thought that the ocean was just so vast that we could just dump all kinds of things in there and it just wouldn't have an effect. But now that the Great Barrier Reef is dying and we have all these problems in the ocean, I think we know that that's not the case and we need to start making better choices. Peace.